How to Create or Remix a Map in Metro Map Maker. Every map in Metro Map Maker can be remixed. Let's get started first by zooming in so that we can see more detail. I'm going to scroll over here, and now we're ready to draw. To get started, let's press the draw button and choose a color. I'm going to choose red, but if you don't see the color that you like, you can add a new color. Once you've chosen your color, you can draw on the map by moving onto the grid and then clicking and dragging. Right away, you'll notice that the guide helps you draw in a straight line, but you can turn that off if it doesn't help you. If you make a mistake, you can go to the eraser button and then click on the points that you want to erase from the map. When your line looks the way that you want, click the station button and then click on the point on the line where you want to add a station. You must add a station onto a line. When you place your station, you'll need to give it a name. If you check the box to make this station a transfer station, it will make the station look a little different, typically bigger and bolder. You can change the way that the station name is oriented by changing the orientation. If you want your station to have a different style than all the rest, you can choose a different option from the style drop-down menu. This lets you mix and match different styles. In the style menu, you can choose a line width from very thick to very thin. Here are all the different options. You might have noticed that the Sunshine Station changed its appearance as I chose a different line width. This will happen because some station styles don't look very good if the line is too thick, and so the stations should always look good and be easy to distinguish. Scrolling down a bit in the style menu, you can change the shape of all stations that you haven't already customized. If you hover over the buttons, you can see a preview of what they'll look like. If a station doesn't change, it's because you've already customized it. You can either edit that station directly or click the Set All Stations to reset all of the stations to your chosen style. The last item in the style menu lets you change orientation labels for all stations at once. This can be useful if you're remixing someone else's map and you want to orient the station labels in a different direction than they chose. If you want to recenter your map, the Move Map button lets you move the entire map but it will stop you from moving your lines and stations off of the grid. So if you can't go any further, that's why. The Resize Map button lets you expand your map and make it larger if you like, so you can add more stations. This map is already the largest it can be. When you're happy with your map, be sure to click Save and Share to save your map and get a unique URL that you can share with friends. You can also click the Download button to download your map as an image. This gives you a PNG file, and if you've clicked Save and Share, it will download a print quality map too. The grid lines are there as a guide, but to hide them, you can click Hide Grid. The zoom buttons let you zoom in and out of the map. And you can move the menu to the other side of the map by clicking the Move Controls button. Clicking Collapse makes the menu much smaller, but it hides some of the buttons. Just press the Expand button to expand the menu again. Clicking the Clear Map button will clear the entire map, allowing you to start fresh. 
And if you want inspiration, click on My Favorites to see some maps that I think are done especially well. Remember, you can remix any of these maps in Metro Map Maker and make it your own. For more inspiration, click All Maps by Date to browse every map created so far. You can browse maps by year, month, week, or day. Here I'm browsing the maps made by day. You can remix them, download them as a print quality SVG vector image, or a PNG image for social sharing. You can also say that you like a map. And hey, I know what this map is. It's a fantasy map of Chicago. If you click Remix, this takes you to where you can edit this map and make it your own. Clicking the Help button might be how you found this how-to video. If you found a bug in Metro Map Maker or run into a problem, I want to hear about it so I can fix it. It would be very helpful if you could tell me details about the bug, like how it happened, what you were doing, and what you expected should happen instead. I'd also love to hear your ideas for what you'd like to see in a future version of Metro Map Maker. Thanks for using Metro Map Maker, and happy map making! I look forward to seeing what you make.